After almost a month away from home ice, the Cardiff Fire returned to Ice Arena Wales to take on the undefeated Guildford Phoenix. The first bit of pressure came early for Guildford as Jared Lane cut to the net but couldn't find a way past Ben Scanlon with his shot. Down the other end of the ice, though, Sam Bryant's shot went wide of the cage and as the Phoenix tried to break out, Rhys Harding stood them up at the blue line, keeping the puck in the zone. And after the puck bobbled a little, eventually Carteloid had enough of a handle on it to fire it past the goalie and into the back of the net to get the fire a 1-0 advantage after five minutes played. In hockey, after a goal, how you respond is critical and the fire responded in possibly the best way they could. They went straight back on the attack and as the puck was along the boards with two Phoenix players trying to clear the zone, Reese Harding came in and calmly took the puck on his own stick, faking a move at the near post before cutting around the back of the net and sliding it across the goal line before Phoenix goalie Petr Cech could get his pad across to take away the wraparound option. Guildford had a brilliant chance to pull one back, some quick passing and great movement off the puck saw Jared Lane once again out in front on Ben Scanlon. Fast passing almost pays off for Guildford, but Scanlon was strong to his post before Carter Lloyd was denied his second of the night after a great kick save by Petacek down the other end of the ice. Still in the first period and the Phoenix couldn't find the net again as his deflection in front didn't trouble Scanlon enough to make it a one goal deficit, but they wouldn't be denied forever. Moments later, Jared Lane danced his way into the zone and as he appeared to mishandle the puck, teammate Josh Abbott picked it up and fired his shot from the high slot, beating Scanlon to make it a one goal game. The Fire had a chance to extend the lead again but couldn't solve check and then when the Phoenix went on the power play, they had the chance to tie things up. The first attempt wasn't enough as again they just fired the puck right at Scanlon instead of picking a spot to shoot at. But the second attempt they wouldn't be denied. A brilliant pass from Andrew Hemmings thread the needle of the defence to find Abbott on the far side and he made no mistake on his attempt, bearing his second of the game and tying the game at two apiece. In the second period, the Phoenix forced Scanlon into a save early on, an awkward one bouncing off his shoulder, but staying out nonetheless, and then a more dramatic save a few moments later. Jared Lane dancing through the zone once more, cutting in on a breakaway, looking destined to score, but the outstretched arm of Scanlon on a desperation save kept the score level. Sam Bryant got the first real chance for the fire in the middle period before once again, Scanlon was forced into a save down the other end, and then it was Bryant again, cutting through the neutral zone. Bryant crossed the blue line and took a shot, which Czech initially denied, but Bryant was quickest to react to the loose puck, and he didn't miss his second chance once again, giving the fire a lead with the game now at 3-2 in the host's favour. It was a bit of a frustrating period for the Phoenix who couldn't find a way past Ben Scanlon who stopped all 16 shots he faced and we headed into the third period with just a goal separating the two sides. Scanlon and the defence were once again tested and tested early on but weathered the storm for as long as they could. Eventually though, they couldn't keep Guildford out. Once again, that quick passing set up the goal. Hemmings to Lane to Abbott at the back door. It was a pretty play to set up a hat trick and a game tying goal for Josh Abbott with less than 10 to play. With the game tied and tensions mounting, Jordan Powell and Joe Stevenson of Guildford became acquainted. With the puck froze in front by Petr Cech, Powell had come in with speed to try and get a loose puck. But then the gloves were off and him and Stevenson threw fists with Stevenson getting the takedown in a fight that Powell never really had a chance to get into with the jersey pulled over his head early on. As the final buzzer sounded, it was off to overtime. The fire were one goal away from ending Guildford's unbeaten run, but Guildford had the game on their stick to Andrew Hemmings. Then moments later, Captain Luke Toll could have sealed it, but Scanlon's movement denied him as once again he recovered to take away the lower part of the net. Scanlon made another couple of saves and then here come the Phoenix. He's already got a hat-trick. Josh Abbott on a breakaway. Denied by Ben Scanlon. Great blocker save 
to keep the fire in it. The fire come the other way now, slow to get up ice as they assess their options. Jordan Powell lays it across to Carter Lloyd, who carries it over the blue line. Lloyd hits the speed, but sees the puck bobble away from him. And as he turns to collect it in the corner, he loses his man, cuts across the slot, shoots and scores. Petr Cech past the blocker, makes the goalie move right to left and sends it the other way, and the Cardiff Fire and Guildford's unbeaten run with a brilliant 4-3 overtime win in their return to home ice for the first time in almost a month.